That was weird. Where did you come from? Silly goose. Hello there. Hello. Tonight's episode of New Beer's Eve. Obey, 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 consume will not be seen to bring you this epic podcast. Welcome to Four Music Lovers Only, a podcast where each host makes a top five list of their favorite songs from this week's topic. Each week is a new topic. Tune in, I dare you. Music. Lovers. Only. I'll be honest, I'm glad we're replacing that show because it was kind of creepy. <laughs> oh, we're, creepy yeah. we're creepy, but less creepy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we're creepy, definitely. But uh, creepy. no, it was it, really creepy. I looked at the national national holiday, and today is National Beer or National New Beers Eve. I, I tried to see what it was about, but it was just about drinking beer. So if you're drinking beer, you're part of the you're part of the problem. Well, I'm out of it because I'm drinking vodka. vodka! I'm drinking coffee for now. Okay. Well, one of us has to be the sober driver so we can get home. <laughs> but we're four music lovers only. We're going to talk about our top five favorite songs about places, destinations, uh, you know, nowhere, everywhere, you know, whatever. We're Anywhere. Gonna, we play it loosey goosey. If you've tuned in, you know how we do it. You know how we do it. But coach, coach is joining us. Santia is, uh, is uh, hanging out with Nickelback right now. I mean, she's backstage hanging out with them. She just messaged oh, me. She's living that, living, living that good life. Living it up. And she deserves that. She deserves that. So we're going to carry on without her. We did, we do have her list. We'll play it here at the end, I believe, just uh, so we can, uh, we can entertain y'all live. And then we'll just, we'll play her list and then we'll make bullshit some more about it. We'll, we'll see. So I don't know. I guess, uh, the spinner is not going to be very effective today. No, do we paper, rock, scissor it? I was kind of debating this myself. I didn't know how we were going to. So I didn't even number my list. So I'm a bad host. <laughs> I mean, like well, everybody that's ever listened knows I'm a bad host anyway. But I'm, I, I'm, I'm numbering my list. I had so many songs, and I was just struggling to decide. Same. Um, I did not realize how many songs I like are about a place. You know. <laughs> Well, uh, speaking of a place and speaking of uh, hosting, uh, you can check out Middle of the Road podcast and find out for yourself. But that's a place. It is a place. It, it is once a place. you go there, you decide whether you ever want to go back. It's kind of like your your weird uncles. Um, it's cool as shit. You're going to see some stuff you may never want to see. You're going to hear some stuff you never wanted to hear. But it, it's like 50% of the people come back. So You're going to laugh. You're going to laugh a lot. You may cry. I had a blast. You were on this last week. That's that's hey, a theme. You may get uh, if everybody's there. If 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 TJ, if everybody's in house, there's a good chance for a stabbing. Um, <laughs> most likely, we're just gonna stab you in the funnies or in the oh shits. So, yeah. but before we get into our list, I guess uh, we'll we'll let you go first today since we don't have an official spinner. But okay. before we get into that, uh, we'll we'll talk some uh, music news on this day. This the video I made for this has got more thumbs down than any other video I have made. And I don't know, don't know why, if it's the graphics, if it's the content, but we'll find I out. I didn't, notice the, I didn't know this, the thumb downs. I seen it. I thumbs up it, I think. Yeah. Well, I don't think thumbs anybody, I don't think anybody but me can see the thumbs down. But How do you thumbs down it? Is this on the book? The, the tube, the tube. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And I, I hate the, I hate the thumbs down, but I'm like, and if you're watching it, and the analytics hadn't come through enough to where I can see how how far they've watched before they thumbs down it, because the very last bit is a little bit messed up. And I'll be I'm, if you're going that far, I'll, I'll take the thumbs down. I mean, I think a reaction is a reaction. I don't think YouTube is like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, all listen. news is good news, bad, good, other don't matter. But on this day in 1965, Brian Wilson and his fellow Beach Boys went into the recording studio in Hollywood and began working on California girls, the, the, the big hit. I think that was oh, probably man. the biggest hit California girls. I mean, they had a ton, but I was going to say they had a, quite a few, but yes, that's the, I think the universal song known, yeah. for, you know, 
And then a year later, in 1966, John, Paul, George, and Ringo, because guess what? what? The Beatles, they're in the news again. That's they were weird. in the news again. Like they're in there every day. Yeah, and they were in the recording studio in across the pond in England and Abbey Roads, and they were recording what would later become Revolver. Okay. And then they just, may have uh, made the list. The, it, yeah, I'm just gonna. I, I even started a segment of Beatles news, just Beatles news, because I'm like, well, why not embrace it? Eventually, that, that needs to be a topic. We need to just do a Beatles. We haven't done that. That would yeah. be a big one. Yeah. And then in '68. Sid Barrett, founding member of Pink Floyd, who suffered from psychotic disorder and was highly compounded by drug use. Uh, the band on this day announced that uh, he would no longer officially be with the band. I think they kept him like on the roster for years and kind of they, they a lot of their songs were about him. You know, uh, uh, oh, I can't think it's not Dark Side of the Moon, but uh uh, it's, it's, it's drawing the blank which one All right. well yeah I, I don't know either i'm not, i can't help you on this one i was the, i was actually lost in in 68 would be an awesome band name um i don't know you'd have to explain it to people but it just you know like i would if somebody new music by in 68 came out yeah. i'm listening i'm listening I'm listening listening i don't even care if it's country i'm listening and we know my stand i I don't care if it's Nickelback and they change their name to N68. Then I'm, there. I to all, no, I'm just joking. I love you, son, too. <laughs> and finally, this is the one that got a little, this is kind of messed me up. Merle Haggard was born on today. He was also known as the Hag, but he was born today in 1937 and he passed away on his 79th birthday. So today is his birthday and his death day. That's kind of cool. Then, yeah, that's, I mean, you made it an even number and even a number, but the, the, the 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 messed up fact is, according to U.S. researchers, they say seven you are seven percent more likely to die on your birthday than any other day of the year. So that's it, probably what brought people down. I can see that now. That I may I don't remember that part of it. I'm sorry. I, I put it at the end. It. So I mean, I guess if they were watching all of it to get to the end to give me the thumbs down, I I'll be honest with you. I would like to die on my birthday because I'd have all like well not all like in my case like four people come around me but yeah. i know everybody would be there so at least then you know everybody'd be there for my death you know and they'd all have a traumatic story to go away with oh sorry yeah and then they wouldn't you know less phone calls less but it would be easier you know you remember and then even in death you know whoever the survivors would be would it'd be easier for them to remember your birthday and your you know like yeah. it's his birthday and his death day it'd just be easy and, and it, it would only be, it, it would only be one day to screw you up i mean dad's yeah, birthday is coming up the 19th and you know, his birthday doesn't mess me up nearly as much of his death day because his death day is like a week before my birthday. So my birthday month just went to shit, you know, it's just like, uh, yeah, my, and depression. They're, they're both, there's three or four father's day. There's those ones, you know, same thing, but it, it is, you know, whatever. Yeah. Hopefully I, hopefully I have the same impact on somebody that, that, you know, that he had on me. Or yeah, your dad exactly. had on you. So. Exactly. Are you ready for my list? Let's get your list out of the way and let's see if you knock anything off my list. I got one that I'm like, I bet Casey's gonna have it. Is it rap? Um, no, I don't. Okay, all of mine are rap, so we're fine. No, I'm just joking. Uh, first one, living in America, James Brown. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I mean that's a place, you know, and. Yeah. I've never got an opportunity to get a James Brown song on. And dude, I found this is what's crazy. When we search topics, most of the time, it's hard to find a top 40 or 50 or a good, you know what I mean? Some of them, not all of them, but some of the ones we've been doing this one, I searched it and I found a list of 800 songs about places. And of that 800, I wish we could just do a, a live podcast or like a live TikTok together where we just read off those 800 songs because I'll bet I knew 629 of them. And yeah. that was kind of where I'm like, okay, I do know uh, music isn't so bad. You know, like, I'm so anyways, uh, number four, California love Tupac and Dre. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. that's a huge part of my growing up. And that was, you know, that was two of, you know, I don't know. I mean, Tupac was up there for me, but that was Dre and Tupac. And that was, you know, that was huge. It was on MTV 45 times a day. And, yeah. You know, a lot was, of songs about California too. 
California yes. is a oh very popular. Okay. Out of the 800, there was also <laughs> at least 350 California something. And I bet there was 45 or 50 just called California. We could do as a as a thing top song top five songs just california songs you know yeah uh number three living no sorry heaven uh talking heads uh, talking heads yes heaven by talking heads yeah i'm trying to think if I, I i probably heard it but i can't place it off the top of my head it i probably it's heads. probably only like the third time i had heard it today actually to be honest with you when i listened to it but it was just awesome it was um it was it's, it, you know quintessential talking head the you know just i don't know how to describe so if would you've you never say, heard talking heads then <laughs> so would you say that was your gym of the week probably so, of the week? yes probably because the rest of them are all ones that were straight to me this is the new one that was never on my radar probably you yeah. know what i mean yeah. um that then quickly moved up it'll go on the 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 playlist so the permanent rotation number two i haven't got a chance to get them in here for three or four episodes five episodes but living in you you living in the ussr the beatles yeah. Um, yeah another one of those just as a kid as an adult as a whatever and that's kind of one of the i say Beatles were all over the place, but that is a so not a Beatles song i mean what you wouldn't think of the beatles i guess yeah, I mean, it, it's one of my least favorite songs of theirs. Just you've said that about three or four of my Beatles songs. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a way to get Beatles, and they actually had a couple other on there. I mean, it could have done Abbey Road. You could have done yeah. uh, Penny Lane. You could have done, and and those ones were close to making the list, you know. But there's a lot of uh, places Beatles songs, but for some reason that one just when I played it, just the it's like an upbeat version of, you know, and then the lyrics on some of it aren't as, you know, so, uh, I bet, I bet Paul wrote it for sure. For <laughs> sure. I know. Cause you don't like him. Uh, he's your least favorite. Not that you don't like him. Yeah, he's your yeah. least favorite. Yes. But without Paul, there would not be the Beatles. Well, exactly. And if there was anybody else, I mean, anybody else, there would have not been the Beatles. So well, my number it. one, uh, because it's places and it fits, uh, I guess every place I've been everywhere, man. Johnny, ah, um, you got it. <laughs> I got one. Was that your? You got what, it. What was that your? What number was that of yours? Oh, it was my. I had him at number four. Okay, for me that was just the perfect number one because literally that's I've been everywhere. That's every place, you yeah, know. Exactly. Um, so now I gotta look at my list on my phone because I did not put any type any on there. Oh, dude, I've got. If you want some others, I can do. No, it. I've. I've got them on my phone. I just didn't type okay. them on the pooter. I was going to say, I've got 12 other songs easy. Yeah, okay. I do an honorable mention and see if I take one off your list. We can play honorable mention roulette. Roulette, yeah. I'm going to do my honorable mention was No Sleep Till Brooklyn. Yeah, I knew Morgan. that one was going to. I figured that one was, so I did not put that one on my list. <laughs> but like I said, uh, well, okay. <laughs> it wasn't my best list, but it was it was my list. No, it was a good list. Good I list. Do it, man. There was no opposite to track. I get it. Well, like I said, for Beatles, my Beatles was gonna be nowhere, nowhere, man. Yep. But like I said, I didn't, I didn't. Beatles didn't make the list. Okay, well that's okay. I just I, I love the Beatles. Crazy. No. Yeah, you know. So my number five was Detroit Rock City Kiss. Oh. I figured that one would be. Because I was not a Kiss fan until it was on the, the tentative list. It's in the honorable mention number two down there. You can't, yeah. the camera won't quite focus in, but Detroit Rock City Kiss. Yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't a fan of them until the movie. I mean, oh, yeah. I same knew here. their music. Same here. 100% same here. Wasn't a fan. And then the, it was such an epic movie. And, you know, that, that put a new, new spin for everything. So I gave him a chance and I found a lot of good music. I'm definitely not a kiss army guy, but I'm, I'm definitely, uh, I won't turn off a lot of kiss songs. No, no. So that, like I say, my number four was bumped and we're going to go with, uh, Willie Nelson on the road again, because the road is a place. Yep. You gotta get, gotta be on the road. Not, I mean, I'm a driver, not a flyer. So I always road trip. So, 
and you know willie don't need a reason to be on any list because nope. willie freaking nelson that's yep. why he's on the list for he sure is the list that's why i said he's he's on you know even if he doesn't whatever you just made the list he's <laughs> on every list and then my number three right yeah where did it go is it on the computer yes <laughs> under the boardwalk the drifters just because that's that is a good song and it's about yep. nookie you know i mean yep what and under we, the boardwalk oh and yeah when we talked about it when i when we did the list with santia you know i told her my list so we could kind of just go back forth but she was like the, i immediately think of sandy butt cracks and i'm like yes but do you it's underneath the boardwalk so there's probably a lot of trash so maybe they're laying on a pile of trash and that keeps them off of the sand so well if you were smart you were a sander like i have been a time or two down by some rivers and stuff you always have a jacket or a coat or whatever and you all that you worry about your shoulders your upper bodies are going to get sandy but your junkers aren't gonna you put <laughs> you, know, you put that part on there and that's how you professionally perform on the sand and that's okay okay take one notes lesson, boys and girls you get one lesson out of tonight take that one away <laughs> take that one away protect the junks no sand uh, my number two is, I don't know if you've heard this one or not, but it's uh, Liam Lynch. He's a punk punk entrepreneur right here. He's got a My United States of whatever, and it's just a fun song. I can't remember if it's made a list or not. It probably made the punk list. I've this never is My United it. States of whatever. I don't know if I've ever heard of either the song or the person, so that's yeah. a, new, a new find for me. I like it. And it was fun. And then my number one was that's – the way the world goes around john prine and like i said that was a kind of a last minute one and after because i was going through playlists you're sitting there listening and listening and that one i think i had stopped listening to the playlist and kind of switched into something else and it popped up and i was like oh, hey that would work you know it said world and i mean it's just a good song it's a uh, one minute you're up one minute you're down you know i mean that's just the way the world goes around that's, so, yeah. that's a good one hell yeah I had a couple other honorable mentions. Uh, Get Out of Denver, Bob Seger. Yeah. Uh, that was another one I hadn't heard in probably 15 years. You know, um, awesome song. And then I had Going Back back to Cali, Cali Going Back to Cali, LL yeah, Cool J. Yeah. Um, was kind of cool to hear. That was another one I hadn't heard in forever. And then whoever's version of it, it is, it don't matter, but Copperhead Road yeah. um, is another classic place I'd like to go visit sometime. Well, I had it took me down the rabbit hole of dreaming about my vacation. I'm gonna take a trip to Colorado here in a couple months. And so I started looking at pictures and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do all Colorado. And there was I I just remembered the one that I was gonna bump all of them off of, but a uh, Colorado Kool-Aid by uh Johnny Paycheck. Okay. That's a good song. I'd know I don't know. I probably heard it because I listened to a lot of a lot of him at for a, a year period or whatever, but I don't remember yeah. that. I think you'd remember it if you heard it, but uh, he's he's slicing an ear off and okay, yeah, and uh, drinking the Colorado Kool Aid, which is Coors. And last time I went, they do not have it on tap anywhere. They have Coors Light, like is very popular, but yeah, original original Coors Coors is not. I'm like, I want my cool my Colorado Kool Aid. So I'll I think it's like I'll the second a bar that has it. You just make that your mission. Well, we, that's what I did the last trip, and it was like the second to the last day I finally okay. got my Colorado Kool-Aid in Colorado. So, The kid going with you? Yeah, she's going with me. It's definitely for me and her. She hasn't uh, been on either of my Colorado adventures. How long How long is this one? I'm going to try to do a week, and we're going to go to up north, uh, uh, Steamboat Springs. Okay. Yeah, my mom used to go up there and go gamble and whatever. Yeah, I mean, I don't like skiing so hopefully there's no snow in july so that's what i'm kind of holding out for i don't want to deal with snow i just want mountains and the in the nice green so, yeah <laughs> the green of the forest and the green of the colorado yeah yeah so yeah that'd be, that'd be cool yeah we're talking about doing something in the future uh but a couple things came up and me getting a new car is one of them yeah, with, with the boys' car burning down, so I kind of been shopping for one. Just 
I don't know. I, I'm going to have to rent a car if I do that trip. But I'm like, well, I just might as well, you know, buy yeah, one now. And Oh, yeah. But, dude, it's almost smarter to on that. I've my buddy, he does a lot of traveling. And especially if you're just doing a couple days, you're not putting the miles on your car. It's really not that expensive. I mean, it, you you factor in another hundred and fifty dollars to your vacation, and you got a car for a week. Uh, expect and get a good e- economical one that you don't really care about that still does everything you need it to do. Yeah, yeah. And we'll see how the how the cards unfold on that. But cool. Let's uh, let's get Santia's list. Let's go to her. Like I said, she's Nickelback she right she now. She wins. You know, yeah. I bet she has five Nickelback songs. <laughs> she uh she made what's have. up santia how you doing tonight i'm doing all right how are you doing tonight i'm doing pretty good i bet you're doing better i bet you'll be better it, this time warp stuff is There's really you're me. really at a nickel weird watching right you now, watch you having the I, time of your life yep yep i am uh i should have already arrived be a video uh, i should have been in my room um, I should have maybe played twenty dollars on the slots or something, <laughs> and now I'm getting ready to put my ticket on the thingy, and then hopefully I can find a guy that will let me on stage to open for Nickelback. If not, then I'll just go find my seat and get some nachos and orange juice. Yeah, I mean you're gonna have your guitar with you at least, right? It's like it's back at yeah, because you're staying at the, the casino where it's it's at, right? So you like. It's up there. I can go no, because that's too high. Oh. I I already paid for the ticket, and that's enough for yeah. them. So <laughs> that's, that's, that's all they get. Yeah, yeah, that was that was enough. So I'm gonna go stay a little bit away from the the casino, oh. but not in the boonie area, but more like the less expensive. But you still get good eggs area. Good, good eggs, you may get stabbed. You know, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. You, you well, not. You, you can get stabbed. It, it's Oklahoma. If you're, you, it's Oklahoma. You can yeah, if you're, get stabbed if you're, at any given point in Oklahoma. I, I love well, that's kind of. Uh, that's more. Well, yeah. But <laughs> I mean, in the area that I'm in, you have to be doing getting stabbed things to get stabbed. <laughs> and I am not participating in any getting stabbed things. I'm just going to go see Nickelback. If I can cue him in and be all MacGyver with the uh, stream yard. Okay. All right. That'll work. So um, we'll so pretend we we'll spun. Pretend like- we'll pretend we spun and it landed on Santia. Yeah. I'm imagining the plate. I'm like, <laughs> man, the plate. I miss the plate so much. <laughs> uh, so my first song uh, about places, it was the first song that popped up in my head about any place. And that is Frank Sinatra's New York, New York. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not only a classic but also uh, an inspiration to a lot of different artists. And it's an awesome song. You want to go to New York when you hear it. You're like, man, I want to be a part of that. Yeah. Frank, I love Frank, so. Oh, yeah. I can't think of one Frank song I don't like. Me neither. Me neither. I thought I put on a playlist of Frank Sinatra once, and it was over in like 45 minutes. (laughs) So he did. And you, you didn't have a whole lot, away. but yeah, yeah. So that, that was my number one. Uh, so when I was thinking places, I was thinking like destinations, places, and then I was thinking places that you can be. And then the next song is Harry Styles, uh, music for a sushi restaurant, which is a place, sushi I restaurant. No, I have no idea. But uh, but what it goes, it goes. And then it just kind of trends down. And then he has this this song about kind of being in love a little bit or, or being in a loving type of sort of feeling. Uh, next one is going to be Will Smith. Welcome to Miami. Welcome to Miami. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that one. In Benino, Ami, Ami. I don't know what they're saying. They could be saying, like, you know, stab and kill people. And I'm just oh, like, I doubt, yeah. Will was. I doubt Will was. Will, oh, Will yeah, was that, cool back in the day. I don't know what happened to him as of late, but, you know. He got menopause. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened. He just got mad. And yeah. I understand that as a, as a 42-year-old person. <laughs> 
you, you hit an age and then you just get angry and then you just kind of stay there because what the fuck, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah. All right. So I'm going to pick this next one just, just like I did last week because I had so many that I really liked. Uh, oh, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to pick, I'm going to do Arrested Development. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tennessee. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Take me to another place. Take me to another place. Just yeah. because that's just such a cool song. And the other song that I had is is more well known. Um, and Arrested Development is it was just a pinnacle of the 90s. And of course, since I'm at a Nickelback concert. <laughs> right now. We all know how much I love Nickelback. And I was not going to let this list go <laughs> without putting on a Nickelback song about a place, which is San Quentin. San Quentin. And they, I've never yeah, heard. Yeah, they say, somebody keep me the hell out of San Quentin. <laughs> <laughs> and that whole song is about a full night of debauchery to where they need alibis and they have to explain oh, wow. that they didn't do it. And turn, it turns out that it was a song that was written about a night with Guy Fieri that they spent in San Quentin. Oh, wow. But yeah, thanks for coming on. And uh, uh, anything <laughs> oh, else fine. you want to add? But, you know, I'm going to be playing in um, Park City on uh, on the 22nd of March. So that's going to be my next next gig at Shenanigans, Shenanigans with Casey right. Abay and Tom Miss Bean. So that's going to be cool. Yeah, it's Mr. Oxley's home, isn't it? Home away from home. Yes. Yeah. All right. How weird was it watching yourself? I was weird. Weird. it was weird watching you watch yourself for sure. Yes, yes uh, it was very weird. I've, I, I, I'm not a fan of it, but it, oh, it worked. A good way to get her in, though. So yeah, it worked. It worked. We're all included. The only list, there was two on there that I hadn't heard of: the Harry Styles, and then uh, my daughter has because she's a huge One Direction fan. So yeah, but. I knew she. I knew he came from. She didn't know what boy band he came from but i knew he came from a boy band i was calling it five direction no he was one direction and dude he when he first his first album he made he had like a bunch of like uh almost stones or beatles feeling or i don't know how do you want to like music the, yeah. uh, you know like it the the lyrics weren't completely but the music was and it was kind of cool because he is british and you know that was the feel or what he went after he went and chased yeah some of that old school rock and some of that British rock for that album. I mean, four or five songs were, you know, listenable. <laughs> well, I think, and the, the dude's super fucking talented. He's a kind of got a little bit weird now, but so, I mean, who hasn't, I guess. So I think that the weirdness, I think they're calling him like the next Bowie. So I don't know. He's an odd cat, but dude, he is musically freaking insane. I mean, it's like a Bieber or a Timberlake or a whatever you want to say, whether you like their music or not. They're just freaky talented and and just uh, capable and you know whatever. I mean, so yeah, I'll definitely check it out. There, like I said, their playlist will be made. I gotta go film Kevin's band, the the bald, the bald faced Kevin. Are you doing that tonight? Yeah, we're going to go yeah. the hideout. Oh, it's, really? Uh, North Hydraulic. I think it used to be an old skate park, I think. It's right across the street from <coughs> Dog and Shake there and Hydraulic and Central-ish. Yeah, I, somebody else did. I don't know what. Somebody did something there I got invited to that I didn't go to. Uh, I apologize to them, too, like I do everybody. Yeah. Uh, somewhere I got scared and I stopped going out much, you know, and it I just. I don't enjoy it anymore. I mean, it's not as, you know, I mean, well, if you, if you like me, you partake or you do anything or just certain people are hard to be, I mean, I, I shouldn't be that way. Cause I really am a people person. I'm good. Every situation or crowd of people I'm in, I do fine. Um, like me, I worked. That's why I feel I'm, if you notice I'm a little less energy, but I worked an event last night and it, you know, I went to work at six 30, yesterday and got off at 11 30 last night yeah. you know from my event it's just a long day bad back uh maybe took a couple lower tabs and 
you know, they're legal. They were prescribed to me long ago. They're, they're expired. I don't know where the statute of limitation goes on taking your own drugs, but no, I mean, you shouldn't mix them with alcohol. And that's why I did. And that's why you did. not You didn't definitely. That's just a beer coaster. Now you're now you're celebrating new beers Eve now. Yeah, it was, I wasn't going to until you told me it was. I was just going to stick to vodka, but. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to do animals next week, and then the week after, my favorite holiday. We'll put it that way, my favorite holiday. Used to be mine, you know, when I did that stuff, but I get you. Well, you know, I mean. It's- There's just so many songs about that, too. That's an easy one, but that's one we may step on each other's toes, but I've already started researching that one and i think i got a couple outside the box um yeah. but every time i think that that's where i i run into you two because you guys are outside the box i'm yeah. usually i'm the inside the box <laughs> guy. So if everybody notices mine are all more you know more mainstream i don't do way off the charts music unfortunately i wish i was exposed to more of it and, but even when you're researching these topics it's hard to find those songs if they haven't made it yet, you know, unless you know them. Yeah. (laughs) So. Yeah. But I know a lot of those songs. Yeah. You could just do all Cypress Hill. No shit. (laughs) Or yeah. I mean, you could pick five or six bands, you know, Cottonmouth Kings, Uh, you know, you could do all, which, yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of bands you could hell you could do ICP all, you know, or what, you know? (laughs) Yeah. There's another band, uh, you pro- probably are unfamiliar with the metal band Cannibal Corpse. You may have heard the name, but I doubt you get into their music. I don't even get into. Uh, their music. I used to listen to. Uh, it was good workout music, so I listened to a bunch of that shit for working out. So, I so there's a parody band, and they they're called Cannabis Corpse, and they have remade every album, and you know just rewrote the songs that they had in order just you know to spin it to the cannabis theme and you know even the albums are are just parodies of of the album that it's parodying so it, it's pretty good i mean oh it's great that- you go back to the 60s and 70s how many just oh, yeah. i mean even from obscure like when when you search the like bands you wouldn't or or, or a artist you wouldn't think that did a song about it had an, a night where they finally experienced it and yeah. then wrote a song about it i mean <laughs> yeah. oh yeah i mean you could do the whole friday soundtrack i mean <laughs> the first one the only yeah. good friday honestly yeah. i watched uh this sunday which is cube and uh tracy morgan okay and it was they were trying to tap it came out in like 2006 i think and they were kind of trying to tap into the the Friday feel, but it just wasn't wasn't very good. I watched it in its entirety, and it was okay, but they just couldn't pull it off. I'll be honest; there's only really probably one or two good Cube show. I mean, he's all those the Johnsons and all that. I mean, it, it's Friday, and yeah, he there's not a lot of you know, not a great actor. No, no, I. I love you, Cube. But- rapper, man, great rapper. I, he's probably top five of my rappers. I mean, you know, yeah. whether yeah. Westside Connection, NWA, fucking, uh, or his solo stuff. I mean, it, that would be another top uh, guy that it would be pretty easy to do a uh, a whole a show on. You know, and I, or, uh, yeah, between yeah, all of his projects and what's what I said, projects, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he definitely, if, especially if you include West Side Connection, freaking, like I said, NWA and all the other collabs he did. And I got my Lokes on. I got my Lokes on. You got, I dropped my Lokes, but. Okay. Yeah. So, well, good yeah, hanging well, out with you tonight, man. Yeah. Thanks for coming yeah. on. We will be over crashing your studio tomorrow with Art Assault. Uh, we have uh, Jason Creel. He is a light painter. We went and checked out his uh, stuff at uh, Art House 310 last night and coerced him into uh, coming on the podcast tomorrow. For somebody that doesn't know what the f- that means, what is a light painter? It he it's a, he takes a long exposure photograph. So the the photograph will take 30, 30 seconds to you know from the moment you click the button till it finishes capturing it. So he takes a laser light. And so he's got a picture of a bottle of vodka and he just 
while that within that 30 seconds he's just scribbling over the the bottle of vodka it's in a dark room so the only light source is uh is the laser and uh it's pretty cool pretty cool okay so more of a production thing well it's it's photography but they call it light light painting just because of the the technique and uh but the laser light doesn't d- change the photo. It, it exposes it. It 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 just. It, you, I'll, I'll just share some stuff. Okay. You'll have to see it. It's, yeah, something, it's hard to explain, and I'm sure he can. Like he, you know, we talked to him a little bit last night, and he explained it, and it was still. I mean, I get it, but it was like that's pretty cool. You know, he just wanted I'm to do something, something different. I could, I could get into. I'm just saying something. Maybe I could. I, I'm not the best artist, but I can take pictures, and I. Dude, I'm mean with the laser light. Dude, I used to get all the cats and the dogs in the neighborhood <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's you know, uh, the 15th and Grove. You don't want to play with laser lights, but <laughs> everywhere else, oh yeah, yeah. Get the ones that set on fire. <laughs> Military. All right. Grade. Yep. Thanks you for you coming go, on. You to go. We're. I'm freaking you out because we're five minutes and 57 seconds over 30 minutes. Well, like I said, what can we talked on your show at the end of your show wednesday was it tuesday we uh yeah we, we probably stretched out just so we can get a little more a little more bs time in but yeah know, we'll wait till we got the the full that happened that happened on my show we usually go an hour and we went an hour like 17 yeah i, I was like i already got 37 views on it so it's worked. you know i mean it worked <laughs> i got i got in trouble by the kid but you know she's over it I nah. smoothed her over. Well, maybe that'll decide whether she wants to come next time or not. Yeah, I, don't know. I mean, she and, just and and played on her phone. Go in the house, and I got video games and TVs and all that crap. So yeah, she just acts shy when she doesn't want to do things. That's mo- most kids do. Yeah, yeah. But all right, guys, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thank you. Time. Thanks for not joining us and picking nickel back over us. <laughs> thanks, Jana. Love you, Jana. You're awesome as always. Yes, indeed. Let's thanks, see. thanks, Room Green, Big Sexy. Uh, yeah, we were supposed to do that at the beginning, but yeah, Big Sexy Beard Brand, uh, JRB five twenty, save you twenty percent on the website. Who are we okay. at? We're back. Who's who's who? Are we streaming on again this week? And we are officially on the Talking Beards stream yard and all of their broadcasts. We my beard awesome. got thick enough again to. They let us back on. They yeah, yeah, kicked us exactly. off, gave my beard off, and now we're uh, it's getting there again. So they let us back on. And then what did Kevin do? Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm did, back, and you shaped it all off. You it was anti- off there. And I know most of the people on this show. We need to let him do an episode with us here and there. He's got good music. He can't do an episode with us uh, until well, he gets his beard back. But well, he he's always had his welcome, but uh, he. He keeps saying he's got to set up stuff because his camera was like point of view. It was down looking up and his fan was always. You know, even that, I don't care. I think like if we do it this week or next time, we don't even have him on. We just let him talk because I don't want to see him until he gets <laughs> geared back. Maybe what? we'll do it. Can we do a meme? Could you? I think you're good enough. We could have like a cartoon thing um, in one of the corners that's yeah. Kevin that does. With the beard. You know, yes, please. God. <laughs> God dang it. Yes. Yeah, I couldn't. I was a little in little shock. The kid could not believe it yesterday. She just kept staring at him and he's like, Why? What are you why are you staring at me? And I'm like, Because you look like somebody different. I was gonna say a freak, and I'm sorry, Kevin. But yeah, well, I've there's never been a person ever in life that needed a beard more than Kevin. I'm just saying that. Well, he No, that's there. not true. He's a decent looking guy. He just man, you're just so used to seeing a dude with exactly. the you know. Like, well, they're making him at work do a respirator test. I know that we had a guy on our old show that had to do that. That's what I figured. Yeah, and you so have to have it completely shaved for that. So he's actually, I think he could have done goatee. I think you can leave mustache and goatee, but it has to be well trimmed. Yeah, and, I think it has to at least seal. And uh, I mean, it needed trimmed. He he does he does not put enough product in it. The the product that I give him, he keeps giving away. And I'm like, no, that was yours, man. Well, speaking of, I'm ready to see you unbraided one of these shows. Next, one of these next shows, I want to see you. What was when was the last day you walked around unbraided? It, it splits. I mean, it's been a long time. It just it just splits. So I just naturally, I was like, 
and actually got a split. Throw, throw one, you know, one rubber band at the very bottom of it, like I used to. No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> but you should see my pubes. They don't split, but I, also, <laughs> I cornrow mine. So, all right, don't watch the last seven seconds. Nope. Do the hang out with you, buddy. Later. <laughs>